Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Teardown, and we are finally in sandbox mode, and not only that, by popular request, we are looking at some mods today, or a mod in particular. Uh, this has nothing to do with the mod. Uh, we're just in sandbox mode, so we have unlimited resources. I can just literally toss out pipe bombs as long as I want to. Um... But I've downloaded the mod today that is very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. One wrong click with the wrong settings on the wrong map will crash my game. If I'm not careful with what, what, what my settings are and what I'm doing with these settings, I will very likely accidentally crash my game during this video. Uh, and the mod that we are looking at is click to explode. So essentially, if I go into options here, I have all of these settings and all of these settings allow me to adjust my explosion sizes and how they how they how they function how they behave so right now when i have my sledgehammer out and i click anywhere for example if i point at the top of this crane over here and i just click you can see instant explosion directly where i have clicked and that that applies to everything every little thing if i want to put a hole in that boat click there's a hole in the boat if i want to pull a hole in this car there we go, there's a hole in the car. I can just do this as much as I want, as many times as I want. I can blow things up. And this is just the beginning. We're just getting started with this because I want to show you my favorite part about this whole thing. And that is paintbrush mode. Now, if you aren't aware of this mod yet, you may be asking yourself, what is paintbrush mode? Because when I enable it, I don't see any paintbrushes anywhere. Now, paintbrush mode means I don't have to click every single time I want an explosion. I can click once and paint my cursor across my field of view and explosions will continuously happen, destroying everything and lagging my game out. So let's go ahead and paint the side of this barn. Uh, it's a nice color red right now, but I wanna have it be a nice color of destruction. So we're just gonna go, Ooh! and there we are. That actually didn't lag my game out nearly as bad as I expected it to. We actually got through to the other side. Here, let's just keep going with this. Oh, there we go. Now the lag's definitely starting to happen. I think we're officially separated now. I've gotten myself down to six frames a second. Oh, no, we're moving back up. We're moving back up. We got more than six now. All right, so maybe if I cut this in half this way, maybe we'll get some actual physics activating somewhere come on all right it is that you know what let's move closer to it let's just move closer now by the way as we move over here i do want to let you know what we're in store for we have our explosion size at one this is literally one explosion size now we can go all the way up to 100 and i gotta admit i've tried it already just in testing and it usually crashes my game but we're gonna try to work up there because the map that I use also impacts that, how complicated the map is. So uh, one of the sandbox maps I think might be able to handle a 100 size explosion without actually crashing my game. We might not have any frames for a while, but I think, wait, did I, I just gotta make sure, did I set it back to zero? Okay, good. <laughs> if I was accidentally on 100 and I clicked, we'd be done this video. Oh, look at that, there it goes. It just fell down, just like that. Uh oh, we got a fire going on now. That's actually kind of fun. Oh, you know what I can do? One of the settings is I can change this instead of explosions. I can change this to click to burn. So let's enable that. So now when I click, it is fire activation instead. So let's burn this whole roof. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is beautiful. All right, here, let's just do this entire beam. Just like that. There we go. This is gonna be one beautiful fire. All right, and let's just keep this on fire too while we're at it. Let's just have a lot of fire happening right now. All right, let's move back. I'm actually getting a lot of frames back now. There we go, now we got a nice fire. You know what, this uh, this is in my way a little bit right here. Let's disable click to burn and let's get rid of this. Let's just, let's just get rid of this whole thing. Now we have a nice clear view. See, if your view's obstructed, just blow it up. What is this? What is happening there? What is that? What, that was weird. It looks like electricity flashing. All right, so we've set a pretty nice fire there. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, we are losing a little bit of frames, but let's go ahead and up the explosion radius. We're gonna go from one 
Uh, and we are gonna go up to five. No, let's go. Let's just do it incrementally. We're gonna go to two. Let's double it each time. So from one to two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one click. That is a much, much bigger explosion already. Especially if I do the paintbrush. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna paintbrush all the way down now. Oh my goodness, that is satisfying. Look at all the pieces go up in the air. <laughs> So one, there's another function of this, and I have a plan. There's, there's a reason why I chose this map. I'm gonna, I wanna make like an action movie scene. Because one thing we can do in our options with this is we can uh, enable detonator explosives. So now if I turn off paintbrush mode, so I have some more control here. So my detonator tool is a spray can. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and click on this boat. And there we go, explosion added one. Now if I go to my spray can, I can just I can detonate it manually. Now another option we have is I can set the delay between explosions. So if it's at zero, then if I place uh, one, two, three, four explosions and then click, you can see they all explode at the exact same time. But if I go back into options and I say, uh, let's just have like a 50 millisecond timer. So now I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now when I click, you can see it goes down in order of how I put them in, which is pretty cool. And we are getting a lot more lag now, a lot less frames. So my plan with that is actually, I need to test this out. If I put a couple of explosives down, and then I take my spray can out and get in a vehicle with my spray can in hand, and I click. Yes! I can explode my detonator. I can use my detonator while I'm in a vehicle. So you know what that means? That means I can create an action movie scene using this bridge. Because I found out that this bridge, I can actually stop it at any point that I want it to. So what I want to do is put some explosions on the bridge. Um, oh, we definitely have to separate that some more. And then I want to try to drive a vehicle up onto this bridge and jump it and then trigger an explosion behind my vehicle as I jump over the bridge to create my own action movie sequence, which I think will be awesome. And I'm realizing that this bridge, it doesn't, doesn't get very far apart from uh, the other side until you raise it up quite a bit, but I don't know if I can drive up that. All right, let me just test it out with this real quick. I don't really know what's going to happen with this kind of vehicle. I'm, I'm doubting it's gonna work very well. <laughs> that is not how that was supposed to go at all. <laughs> so one thing I might need to do, I might need to actually, oh, this is it. This is what I wanted to do actually. I'll cut one side of the bridge down just like this. And here, let me, let me just get rid of that. I have a bunch of explosions on it. And there we go, it is, should be gone. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. So now we can see that that is more of a ramp and we can lower it. Oh, oh, this is broken. Is the other side okay? Oh, whoops. Wait, what? How? That's, I have apparently, I have broken just the lower bridge button. All right. All right, well, before we do that, let's have some more fun here and let's turn off detonator. We're gonna be back on click and let's double the size again. We're gonna go up to four. All right, so I'm just gonna do one click on this and see at what four explosion size is. That is four out of a hundred. Look at the sir. It's like a perfect circle. That's amazing. The shock wave of it reaches all the way over here too. All right, I'm gonna restart so I get all my frames back and we're gonna do paintbrush mode with this explosion size on that same barn. Hello, Crane. Sorry, I just, I can't resist. I just had it. oh yeah, so much more frames. All right, you ready? Here we go. Paintbrush. Oh, I don't have paintbrush mode enabled. Let me enable paintbrush mode. <laughs> all right, well, that's how much damage just one did. All right, I'm gonna paintbrush from this side now. Oh, it's way too much. It is way too much. Paintbrush mode is dangerous. Once you get above like two, paintbrush mode is very, very dangerous. All right, well, it's pretty much gone, that whole barn. Oh, something just hit right near. Oh, okay. Wow, the 
pieces were reaching all the way past me. They're reaching like the edge of the map practically. Oh boy, this is gonna totally break my game, isn't it? But I'm gonna paintbrush across all these things. Oh my goodness, it's so excessive. It is so excessive. I have one frame per second right now. It's way too much. I kind of want to try Let me just click once on this. I just got to... Oh! All right, I'm going to drag across it. Paintbrush mode. Oh, it's so much. Wow. Oh, no. I'm getting bombarded now with debris. What did that hit? All right, I just want to do my movie thing because we need to move to a different map to really experiment with explosion sizes because this map is too complex to handle larger destruction. All right, so I think in here, just explode this a little bit. There we go. Oh no. Oh, this is Ah, what happened? What was that? Okay, let's just get in the Jeep. I hope this is fast enough. This feels like it has some decent power. Oh yeah, this has some power. Now I just gotta survive my way back there. All right, this looks like a good ramp here. So let's use this and I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the other side now using my handy dandy point and click explosions. All right, so I'll just disconnect it right there. And I assume if I do the same thing over here, it'll just fall. Nope, I guess I just gotta... <laughs> it's gone. It is gone. That's great. All right, let's get this thing set in position, and then we gotta plant the explosives. I don't know how we're gonna do the explosives yet. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, ready and go. Oh! And then you know what? At the end of it, we can have this bridge get disconnected. That'll be kind of cool. All right, I've got 14 explosives down and I have no idea how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to reset it every single time. But here we go, action movie sequence, initiate. And go, it's catching up to me, no! Yes! That was amazing! And we are able to get away. Oh, that was awesome, that worked out like great. And you know what, big finale here, the hero thinks he's getting away and then suddenly, His vehicle is nothing anymore. And when did this happen? When, how long has this been going on for? I guess since I got the Jeep, this building has just been burning down. Look at all this damage. So much of this building is gone. The walls, that's awesome. All right, you know what, just for fun here, let's turn the explosion size up to 10 and we're gonna blow this building up. This might break my game on this map. I don't know, but I'm gonna put it right there. There we go. Three, two, one. Oh! That actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be on my game. Now let's do this part of the building here. Ah! Okay. And just out of curiosity, let's just click that. Oh man, look at that explosion blast, like the blast radius is so big. All right, let's get some of our frames back. We're gonna quick load. We're gonna do another take of this action movie sequence. And then we're just gonna crash my game by taking it to the extreme. All right, here we go. Take two. This time I'm gonna try to make my camera a little bit different. So here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. And then the bridge falls down and yet again, we're able to get away from the scene of the crime or save the day after, because we're the hero, not the criminal, right? I don't know, I don't know. All that matters is we did an epic jump away from explosions on a collapsing bridge. All right, so here we are in a much, much simpler map. In my experience, I was able to get some decent performance out of explosions on this one. So now we can start really testing out just how massive these explosions can get. We're gonna turn off detonator, we're gonna enable paintbrush mode, and let's do a paintbrush of size five. We'll go from five to, oh, I can't, I can't do five apparently. All right, well, let's do four followed by one, and I think that's the equivalent of five. This is like precision mode. All right, so you know what? Let me just point at this vehicle and do it. Yeah, explosion size five, the vehicle is literally gone. Literally, it is gone. All right, let's blow up another vehicle. Look at that. 
I blew up the vehicle and look at the hole in the wall. That's crazy. Man, I get really, really good frames on this map compared to other ones. I just, I'm just enjoying blowing up these vehicles. This is awesome. All right, explosive size five directly on the wall. Let's see. Man, look at the size of that. I love the impact. Like you can clearly see the circular impact zone. It's amazing. All right, am I on paintbrush mode? Let's find out. Yes, I'm on paintbrush mode. I don't have good frames anymore. <laughs> Which is understandable, because look at what I've just done. <laughs> Are my frames gonna come back? You know what's cool is I could actually go into the overhead mode, but I just made a mistake because I've found out the hard way that in overhead mode, I have to click to move the map. But if I click, it also triggers an explosion in the center of my map. So that's a thing that happens. All right, I'm not getting a whole lot of frames back right now. So let's uh, let's restart the map and get our frames back and try some bigger explosions. All right, I got a stupid idea though before we do that. I'm gonna stick with this five size explosion and I'm just gonna click mid jump while I'm in this van. Let's see what happens. And... <laughs> it was so violent. Oh. oh my goodness, that's amazing. All right, let's get, no, no. Oh, I thought I was falling down, but nope, this is also ground. All right, let's just get rid of this wall. How about that? Oh, the trees were a bad idea. Trees are always super laggy compared to everything else. All right, now it is time to bump it up to a size 10. Here we go. Double the explosion of what you've just seen right in the middle, what's gonna happen? Oh, man, look at the clouds. Oh, I love the slivers. The triangular pieces are awesome. That is so satisfying. And my frames are good on that, too. All right, what about this? Oh. Oh, man, it's so much destruction. It's unreasonable. This is 10%. Only 10% of what I'm capable of. All right, you know, I just gotta see what happens with this. Oh! Probably shouldn't have done it directly on me, but I didn't really have a choice either. This makes me feel like I've just done a superhero landing right here. Yeah, look at that. I've totally just come down from the sky, did a superhero pose, landed right here, and destroyed the ground underneath me. That's exactly what this looks like. All right, now we're at 20. 20 explosion size. You know, I just kind of want to do the ground first. Ready? Right there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at the size of that. All right. Uh, I'm going to do this car. Oh, the trees fell over behind the wall and everything. All right. And now the building. The roof is caving in. Look at the roof. All that just, and the wall is falling down now. That is satisfying. That is very, very satisfying. You know, I should really, I should start turning paintbrush mode off because there's no good reason to have it enabled right now. All right, this might sound reckless, but we're gonna go from 20 and we're gonna go up to 50, 49 plus one. Let's see if we can uh, survive this. Um, I'm gonna do the ground again, just so I can see. Let me go off to the distant. I don't know. I feel like no matter where I go right now, it's gonna just destroy everything. All right, I'm just gonna put it right there in the middle. Ready? Oh no, this is bad. <gasps> that sliver just slid. No, look at the whole building. The whole building cracked. I cracked everything. Whoa. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my spray can up. There we go. Now I can actually move the map around without destroying my gate. Look at this. This is like a meteor just hit right here. I hit the, the whole building practically collapsed in on itself. All right, let's just do the building. I'm gonna restart. We're gonna do just the building on this next one. This is probably gonna crash my game. Three, two, one. That is so weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Get, get rid of my sledgehammer. Yeah, the whole roof just collapsed in. 
I'm actually surprised at how intact the building stays. It breaks it into pieces, but then the pieces settle into each other like a puzzle. But look at this, look at this waviness. That's interesting. You know, I'm gonna click again. I'm gonna do it again, right in the same spot. I can hear the truck behind, the van behind me makes noises from the impact. Look at the color of the building. It's completely changed. It used to be green. Look at this van. Everything is just blackened. We've charred the entire map pretty much. Look at the trails, the trails on my hammer. <laughs> I'm practically hallucinating from the shock wave. All right, I gotta restart again. Should we just go for it? Should I just bump it up to all the way? Oh man, the frame, it feels so nice. It's so smooth. It's so smooth. Oh, it's like butter. All right, I mean, this one practically crashed my game anyway, so I might, could I go to 110? All right, this might crash my game, so I'm just gonna say right now, if you want more teardown mods, make sure you like this video, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss more in the future. And if you have any suggestions for teardown mods that you'd like to see, because I've only just broken into figuring out how mods even work in this game, let me know down in the comments below. And also before we do this game breaking explosion, a quick reminder in case you weren't aware, if you're at all considering checking out the merch store for a Christmas gift or anything like that, this I think is like the cutoff week. You're cutting it close if you want to actually get it delivered before the holidays. So, so PSA, if that's a thing that you're interested in. All right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to break my game here. I'm just gonna click in the middle of the map. If we survive this, then I'll click directly on the building, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna destroy not only just the map, but my computer as well. 110, maximum explosion right now. Three, two, one. Oh! What? All of the trees are collapsing. Everything is just instantly a darker color. Let me go up and see what happened here. Oh my, whoa, whoa. Look at the, the radius is bigger than this entire panel. Look at how much of it darkened. You can see it just start to uh, gradient off over here on this corner. But literally this took up the entire map. I'm kind of confused on how little of the building has been collapsed. So at the risk of destroying this recording, I'm gonna just try it on the building. I only have six frames, but you know, that's six more than I was expecting really. So here we go. Please let me live. Is this really 110? I'm honestly kind of disappointed. This is a little bit anticlimactic. I didn't know what, whoa. What's with the holes forming in the wall? Whoa, what? oh, that's the, the roof I think is grinding against the wall on the inside. I'm doing it again. I'm surprised I can handle this. This is ridiculous. There's just holes forming in the wall. <laughs> All right, you know what? Is this car? No, that car is not really alive, is it? But let's click on it anyway. I, I can't believe I have any frames right now, to be honest. I just want to keep... Oh, I can hear the grinding of the concrete near me being moved from the explosion. Oh, that's definitely collapsing. That's kind of satisfying. And all three frames a second. Super satisfying, right? All right, let me just click on this side of the building now. I'm just, I'm, I want to go until I don't have any more frames. That's just kind of what's going to happen here. I'm going to level this whole map until my frames are gone. I'm gonna click again. Same spot, it's not even done collapsing yet. Another one. <laughs> oh man, look at it go. Or try to go. Another one. <laughs> there it is, there's the explosion. All right, now I'm at one, zero to one frames a second, less than one frame a second. We've pretty much leveled the map. Here, let me, let me just take care of that over there real quick. Uh oh. Uh-oh, sound is glitching. There it goes. That's what I was looking for. I did say there was a pretty good chance I was gonna crash my game. Hopefully the recording isn't dead too. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Teardown and you missed any of the campaign stuff that I did, then go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Grab some merch as well if you care to support the channel that way. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman and I'll see you next time. Bye.